Hey guys, James West here. It's time for another book review. This week I am reviewing Lock and Key The Initiation by Ridley Pearson. Now this is actually a bit of a special read for me and for a couple of reasons. The first reason and kind of personally the major reason is the fact that Ridley Pearson is one of the authors who actually inspired me to start writing my own books. If it were not for Ridley Pearson, there might not be a Guardians of the Light series. Now the other reason this was a special read for me was because I actually got this book at a book signing where I actually got to meet Ridley Pearson for the first time ever. Or it was uh, still a very special moment for me. Me being able to meet one of my heroes in writing. In fact, I think I actually got a photo of it. But, uh, do we have that? Uh, like I said, it was a, definitely a good day for me. me. And I had a lot of fun reading this book. Lock and Key is basically a trilogy showing how, how a young James Moriarty and a young Sherlock Holmes almost met, became rivals, and essentially became the kind of the kinds of men they are in the original Sherlock Holmes stories. Now the reason I say the kinds of men is because this book, instead of taking place in Victorian London, London takes place in modern day, I believe, Boston? And while I definitely would have preferred it being back in like, I believe the late 1800s, like the original stories were, I actually really like, like how Ridley Pearson uh, stayed true to his source material all in this series. There's, there's not an overabundance of technology used you don't see Sherlock Holmes using a cell phone or anything. In fact, most of the technology you see is mostly cars, buses, and once or twice Google. And the reason I actually like that is because that's just using the modern equivalent of what they would have had back then. And so instead of a horse-drawn carriage, they have cars. Or instead of going to the library to look something up, they just do a quick Google search. And it works. It actually works. It doesn't break the illusion at all. Uh, now the one now the one thing I definitely definitely want to talk about with this book, okay, and that is the characters. There's uh, Sherlock, look, definitely arrogant in the book. Look, uh, total know-it-all. All he loves uh, showing off his intelligence, but even then, in there are and from the perspective of the other characters in the book, it is definitely annoying. But there are also moments when there's a certain degree of innocence to it, you can definitely tell that sometimes, yes, he's showing off, but at other times he, sometimes you just get the feeling that he's just making an observation, he, an incredibly detailed observation, but just, he's just saying what he sees, and he's just make, saying what his deductions are. One other thing I found very interesting about Sherlock's character in the, in the book was in one scene when one character or called him out on him being a know-it-all on asking him to basically dial it back some. So Sherlock just looked at him and said, I don't want to change who I am. I want to stay, stay true to the person I am. And I don't want to be someone for one person and someone else for another. For another. And that, I, I don't want to say it really resonated with me, but it's just a scene that really stuck out to me. It's one of those things where, okay, he has his faults, but he just wants to be, be himself. He Oh, and given how usually these intelligent characters in bo books and story, and frankly just in all media for that matter, are usually these shy, shy, timid characters, it's actually very refreshing to see one who just shows this level of confidence. It's actually pretty cool. Now, uh, James Moriarty, I can't quite say the same. Same. Uh, his character honestly just felt a little weird to me. And before I go any further, I just want to say this is my own own feeling of when I was reading him. So maybe if I did another read through, it'd be a little different. I just, I'm just not quite sure. Uh, now, like I said, this is basically an origin story series, and the development of James Moriarty's character just felt weird to me. I couldn't really relate to him in a lot of ways. And it just felt weird to me. Now, uh, one character that I really definitely loved was Moira Moriarty, uh, James's younger sister. Now, I am going to say right now, I'm not that familiar with the original Sherlock Holmes stories. 
I don't want to be. But at this moment, I haven't read too many of the original stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Also, I don't know if Moira is a character from the original stories or if she's just a character that really appears and created for this series. Either way, I absolutely love her. She is a great narrator for the series and she really captures the emotion of what's happening in the book and the relationship between her brother and Sherlock. It's actually very good and I really love reading it. Uh, now in general, uh, this is a mystery book so there are definitely clues. clues and a lot of the clues were very very good. I, I really like them. Some of them were helped along a little by the plot, I will admit. Or at least they felt like they were to me. I mean, that being said, none of them were really big offenders, offenders and I I did not see any, any leaps in logic like a ballpoint banana. If you can actually if you actually get that reference, please leave a comment below. Oh, and I say uh, congratulations. Now the level of intrigue and conspiracy in the book, I absolutely loved. It was very good, good if a little dark for younger readers. And all in all, I absolutely love the attention to detail throughout the book. And that's something I always love to see in mystery novels, just because that that's when I know that this, this author was very serious when he was writing this. Is, and Ridley Pearson definitely does not disappoint. Now, all in all, I give this book four stars. I had a lot of fun reading it. it I'm really looking forward to reading this. And I'm really looking forward to reading the next book in the series. So until next time, this is James West signing off.